The mandible is the largest and strongest bone of the human skull. It is commonly known as the lower jaw and is located inferior to the maxilla. The mandible is formed by a body and a pair of rami along with condyle which form temporomandibular joint and coronoid processes. Body is the anterior portion of the mandible. Body has two surfaces, outer and inner, and two borders, upper and lower border. The body ends and the rami begin on either side at the angle of the mandible, also known as the gonial angle. Outer surface has following characteristics. Mandibular symphysis at midline which joins left and right half of the bone, detected as a subtle ridge in the adult. The inferior portion of the ridge divides and encloses a midline depression called the mental protuberance, also known as chin. The edges of the mental protuberance are elevated, forming the mental tubercle. Laterally to the ridge and below the incisive teeth is a depression known as the incisive fossa. Below the second premolar is the mental foramen, in which the mental nerve and vessels exit. The oblique line known as external oblique ridge courses posteriorly from the mental tubercle to the anterior border of the ramus. Inner surface of mandible the mylohyoid line is a prominent ridge that runs obliquely downwards and forwards from below the third molar tooth to the median area below the genial tubercles. Below the mylohyoid line, the surface is slightly hollowed out to form the submandibular fossa, which lodges the submandibular gland. Above the mylohyoid line, there is the sublingual fossa in which the sublingual gland lies. The posterior surface of the symphysis menti is marked by four small elevations called the superior and inferior genial tubercles. Upper border is alveolar border, it consists of sockets for the teeth. Lower border is inferior border, it is also known as base. There is a fossa present at the side of midline known as digastric fossa. The ramus of mandible consists of coronoid process anteriorly and condylar process posteriorly which consists of head and neck and articulate with temporal fossa forming temporomandibular joint. Between the condyle and coronoid there is a notch called mandibular notch. In the inner surface there is a mandibular foramen which leads to mandibular canal and ends at mental foramen on the outer surface of the body. Above the mandibular foramen there is a slight ridge called lingula. A faint groove passes on the inner surface of the ramus starts from mandibular foramen called mylohyoid groove which includes the mylohyoid nerve. The masseter muscle is the most powerful muscle of mastication. It is quadrangular in shape and has two parts. Deep and superficial. Attachments. The superficial part originates from maxillary process of the zygomatic bone. The deep part originates from the zygomatic arch of the temporal bone. Both parts attach to the ramus of the mandible. Actions. Elevates the mandible, closing the mouth. Innervation. Anterior division of mandibular nerve. Temporalis it is a fan shaped muscle consists of anterior fibers that have a vertical orientation, mid fibers have an oblique orientation, and posterior fibers have more of a horizontal orientation. Attachments originates from the temporal fossa. It condenses into a tendon, which inserts onto the coronoid process of the mandible. Actions Anterior and mid fibers elevates the mandible, closing the mouth. Posterior fibers retracts the mandible, pulling the jaw posteriorly. Innervation, anterior division of mandibular nerve. The medial trigoid muscle has a quadrangular shape with two heads, 
deep and superficial. It is located inferiorly to the lateral trigoid. Attachments The superficial head originates from the maxillary tuberosity and the pyramidal process of palatine bone. The deep head originates from the medial aspect of the lateral trigoid plate of the sphenoid bone. Both heads attach to the ramus of the mandible near the angle of mandible. Actions, elevates the mandible, closing the mouth. Innervation, trunk of mandibular nerve. The lateral trigoid muscle has a triangular shape with two heads, superior and inferior. It has horizontally orientated muscle fibers. Attachments, the superior head originates from the greater wing of the sphenoid. The inferior head originates from the lateral trigoid plate of the sphenoid. The two heads converge into a tendon which attaches to the neck of the mandible. Actions, acting bilaterally, the lateral trigoids protract the mandible, pushing the jaw forwards. Unilateral action produces the side-to-side -side movement of jaw. Note, contraction of the lateral trigoid will produce lateral movement on the contralateral side. For example, Contraction of left lateral trigoid will deviate the mandible to the right. Innervation, anterior division of mandibular nerve. The mandible and muscles of mastication are supplied by mandibular nerve which is the third branch of trigeminal fifth cranial nerve. Trigeminal nerve is sensory and motor nerve. It consists of trigeminal ganglion which is sensory lies in the middle cranial fossa. A motor nerve arise from the pons unite with mandibular nerve during exit of the nerve from the middle cranial fossa through foramen ovale. After exit of the mandibular nerve it consists of three parts. The trunk which is the main part divides into anterior and posterior. The trunk gives two nerves. Nerve spinosis which takes a recurrent course to go into the cranial cavity via foramen spinosum with middle meningeal artery and supplies the dura mater of the middle cranial fossa. Nerve to medial trigoid which supplies three muscles medial trigoid, tensor pilati and tensor tympani muscles. The trunk divides into anterior and posterior division. The anterior division gives buccal nerve which is sensory nerve supplying branches to the skin of the cheek. It then pierces the butronator muscle and supplies the mucous membrane of the cheek and gum of the lower jaw opposite the molars and second premolar teeth. Masseteric nerve which supplies masseter muscle. Nerve to lateral trigoid which supplies lateral trigoid muscle. Deep temporal nerves which supplies the temporal muscle. Posterior division gives three nerves auriculotemporal nerve which arise by two roots around meningeal artery it runs backwards between the neck of the mandible and the sphenomandibular ligament. Behind the neck of the mandible. It gives several branches. Its auricular branches supply skin of the tragus, upper part of the pinna, external auditory metis and tympanic membrane. Its articular branches supplies the temporomandibular joint. Its superficial temporal branches supplies the skin of the temple. It also supplies secretomotor fibers to the parotid gland. The lingual nerve passes medial to the mandible then shift medially below submandibular duct to supply general sensation to the tongue. A nerve called corda tympani which is a branch of facial seventh cranial nerve unite with lingual nerve to provide taste sensation to the anterior thirds of the tongue. Lingual nerve also supplies lingual gingiva and carries preganglionic secretomotor fibers to submandibular and sublingual salivary glands the submandibular ganglion. The inferior alveolar nerve moves downward medial to the mandible. Before it enters the mandibular foramen it gives mylohyoid nerve which passes in the mylohyoid groove medial to the mandible to supply the anterior belly of digastric muscle and mylohyoid muscle. The inferior alveolar nerve enters the mandibular canal through the mandibular foramen where it gives dental branches supplying lower molars and premolars. 
the inferior alveolar nerve leaves the mandibular canal through mental foramen to supply the lower canine and incisors. 